So if you're struggling at the finish, struggling to get your blades out at the finish, the tap drill is an excellent drill to, to work on. It's great for beginners uh, as well as advanced people. And uh, this drill will help you uh, with some confidence, it'll help you with balance, and it'll help you with timing. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit at the finish, you're going to square both blades at the finish in the water, you're going to sit relaxed, head's going to be neutral, long neck, relaxed shoulders are down, and you're going to place your hands on top of the oar like this. So the blades are squared, and your hand is going to be on top of the oar as opposed to bent. So you want to place your hands on top of the oar, and you're just going to do this motion with both hands at the finish. You're going to be moving your elbow to your hand like this. It's just a light push or a tap. You're going to tap your hands down. Your blades are going to go in and out of the water, both sides, in and out like this. You're going to hear a plop as the blades enter the water. One plop because you've got two blades. That way you know, you can hear it, you know that the blades are going in and out at the same time. Stay relaxed. Try not to move your shoulders up and down. Stay relaxed and you're going to find that the simple movement with your hands is the way you're going to be starting to learn to take your blades out of the water on the square and not feather too early when the blade is under the water because then you're going to run into trouble. Try the tap drill. Great for beginners and I'm going to show you a couple of videos of some rowers doing the tap drill and then you get a bit of an idea of what it's going to look like. All right. All right, we're doing tap drill. Very good. Blades are at the finish. They're squared and buried. Ready and tap. Keeping the blades always squared. Look, watch the hands are going up and down. Nice, relaxed. And listen for the plop. One plop. Excellent. Five more taps. One, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> Let it run. Good job. And that is tap drill. That's it. Good tap drill. Nice and relaxed. Awesome, Kathy. Beautiful symmetry. Excellent. Five more taps. One, two, three, four, and five. Let it run. Okay. So now you have a good opportunity to be relaxed when you come out of the water at the finish. And you'll be able to come out nice and even. It's a very simple, relaxed motion of the blade. It will really help you in your rowing.